Let's look individually at each fun angle. If I have line AB that is parallel to line CD and line AF touches the parallel lines, um, I have an F shape drawn here. And what happens is these two angles underneath the branches of the parallel lines are equal. If I had my statement and reason, I would then um, say that angle CAB, remember angle CAB is CAB, referring to that angle there, is the same as the angle DCF, referring to that angle over there. And my acceptable reason in your statement and reason columns is corresponding angles. And please, you won't get the marks. You have to remember to tell the marker which angles are parallel. Now I'm going to give you a bit of a um, physical example using this board. Mrs. Swat created these boards, whoopsie, sorry, for the grade 11s. But I thought it would be a good way to explain to the grade 10s um, or just a bit of a practical thing for the grade 10s on how parallel lines work. So the circle is irrelevant right now in grade 10. It just so happens that in grade 11 they do circle geometry. But I'm going to make two parallel lines. So I'm going to put a chord through the circle there. It's just a normal parallel line. And I'm going to count one, two, three, four, five line, um, nails down. And I'm going to count one, two, three, four, five nails down. So those... Um, chords, I can hope you can see our um, equidistant, they've got the same length between them. So in other words, these two lines are parallel. So now if I take a line that extends across these two lines, for example there, it doesn't have to necessarily go, let's make it just for now, to go through the middle, okay? I hope you can see an F, and there are F in many directions. There's an F, that goes over here, a normal looking F, meaning that that and that would be the same. There's an F that goes backwards, meaning that that angle and that angle would be the same. There's even an F if you had to turn it upside down. So let's turn this upside down. Can you see the F that was at the top there? Meaning that this angle and that angle would be the same. So if we had to just turn it back, there's that upside down F that we just saw, and same on the side. There's another upside down F that we see, so which make that that angle and that angle are equal. Okay? Don't believe me? Let's get a compass and try it out. <laughs> 